Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Ears, where I do not allow people to dim my shine. They are blinded. I just tell them to put sunglasses on. Today's video is going to be about makeup brushes and how important it is to keep them clean. It's just like your wash rags. You wouldn't reuse them over and over again because they have bacteria. Same with your makeup brushes, plus not to mention all the different colors you use if you wear multiple makeups like I do, and they're a shade different. It's just a good idea to keep them clean. They recommend once a week. I average about every three weeks to a month, and it, it makes your brushes last longer, especially if you do it right. Now, I bought this little device here. I had one before, and it, the... Uh, battery pack broke and this is a mirror cleaner off Amazon I'll list it below in the description and so the little device here and it's rechargeable that's another reason I liked it is where you take these little rubber things one end fits on here and one end fits on your brush and it's important you get a good tight fit for both and this has three speeds the other one you just turned it on and it went so I, ha I had a little trouble playing with this <laughs> to get it ready for the video. Now, I make my own cleanser, brush cleanser. I use about this much Dawn dish soap, about this much water, and then about five or six squirts of jojoba oil and shake it really good. Now, jojoba oil keeps your brushes from getting dried out and the Dawn really cleans them. So now, you, it comes with this little container here and you put just like a half an inch of your cleaner in it. And you'll take a brush and you'll kind of dip it, kind of loosen up the gooch, and then turn it on. And you don't want to go up above where the metal handle, you want to keep the bristles. I don't know if you can see it. But these things are great. And what's even better is that you dry it like this. Now, I have to turn it off. Because I have, from my other one that broke, I kept the jar. Wait, it's a bigger one. And I have clean water in it. And then I will go in there just, you know, for a little bit like that. And then I'll dry it. About five to 10 seconds. Dum, 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 dum. Turn it off three times. And then you just take the little thing off and you take the little. Uh oh. This will work. Cheese, cheese, Louise. Okay, and then <laughs> you check it out. It's dry, and then I put it back in my little. Now I'm gonna take on ooh this one. Eyelid brushes. I hope I don't do that again. Gosh, same thing. Dip it in the gooch. Turn it on, just kind of swirl it in there. Might have to do it a couple times and change the water a couple times, depending on how dirty your brushes are. It's probably why it's best to do them every two weeks at the minimum. Two, three, four. And I'll take it in my water. Try not to get it on the metal because you don't want the bristles to get wet inside where the metal is because it will mildew and ruin your brushes. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take this off nice and easy. And I'm gonna be careful to twist this one. Maybe because it's brand new. Put some oil in there, then it'll shoot up into the sky. Dry, then it's right in that little thing and they're ready to go. Now I wanted to show you this big brush. This is a, <laughs> We're gonna see how this works. It seems to be the longer they are, the more bizarre they are to wash. So I'm gonna dip it in. This is my bronzing brush. Then I'm gonna swirl it in the swirly girl gumdrops. Okay. I'm gonna dry, whoa! See, it's gonna get a little wobbly. I'm going to give it a good dry. One to turn it off. Two, three. There we go. Three clicks. Okay. 
This one's still a little damp. You can dry it some more if you need to, but I, I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it like this. Okay, our brushes are cleaned and dried and ready to go. I wanted to go over uh, again why this is important that you stay below this metal casing because there's still bristles that go up in there, of course, and they will suck up the water and I guess the drying doesn't get it all out so they can mildew and ruin your brushes. These brushes are not cheap, so you want to take care of them. At least I do. And if you don't have an, one of these bowls that has a splash guard on it, you can use a tall glass, anything to keep, you know, to clean it off. Now this isn't cleaning, excuse me, this is rinsing. Now they don't even recommend that you rinse. They recommend that you use your little concoction that you made, brush cleaner and a little this much and clean it. And then take them out, fluff them up and they're ready to go. But I, this water is, is so dirty after each brush, probably if I washed them more it wouldn't be like that. So I feel like I have to do a rinse, which might not be a good idea because the jojoba oil is to keep your bristles soft and supple. And maybe the water is rinsing them off. I don't know. I, I, that's just what I do. <laughs> okay, I hope you like this video enough to like it and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you won't miss these exciting wild videos. I am going to end on today a very, very wise man, Jack Handy. He says, it takes a big man to cry, but it takes a bigger man to laugh at that man. See you soon.